Hello everyone and Happy New Year. I'm Marianne Patternity, coordinator of the Darien Library Book Groups, and I'm back again with Jen Dayton, our head of collection development. This month, Jen is bringing us a whole host of new books yet to come out. They all sound exciting and can't wait for you to hear about them. Good luck, Jen. Thanks, Marianne. Happy New Year, everybody. I've got a slew of new book goodness here. We've got some debuts, we've got some old favorites, and I can't wait to talk to you about some of them. The first one is a debut. It's called The Fire by Night. I know a lot of you book groups out there have World War II fatigue, but please consider this one. A lot has been made about the greatest generation and, their me and its men, but not very much has been made about the greatest generation and the sacrifices the women of that generation made. This is the story of Joe and Kay, two best friends, both nurses, one in the European Theater of Operations, the other is in a POW camp at Corridor. It is tremendous. It's told in alternating voice chapters. And on the train, I found myself saying, oh, no, I have to leave Joe and hear what Kay's doing. And then saying, oh, no, I have to leave Kay and hear what Joe's doing. I loved this. It's wonderful, wonderful. She's a debut author, and I can't wait to hear more from her. Indulge me with one more World War II book, The Women in the Castle. Jessica Shattuck actually is the granddaughter of Nazis. Um, the story of the women in the castle is the story of a makeshift family of sorts in the days after World War II. Marianne's husband has been executed for the, being involved in the plot on Hitler's life, and she has made a vow to her husband and her husband's best friend that she would care for the wives of the conspirators when all was said and done. She gathers together this makeshift family and she thinks that they all are on the same page. But things that went on when back and during the war and before the war, things might not be as cozy as she thinks. This is a book of secrets. It's a book of um, survival and what it means to live in a country that's been defeated by war. I loved it. This one is coming out in April. Oh, I can't re wait to read this one. For you book groups that have men in them, I'm highly recommending The Hearts of Men, and this has to be, so far, my favorite cover of the year. It's a great cover. It tells the story of Nelson, also known as The Bugler. It begins in 1962. Nelson is that kid who is just incredibly socially awkward. You just, you fear for him making it out of adolescence. He has one friend, and it's the story of their friendship going through the modern era and the importance of scouting and camping had on their lives, which makes it sound kind of boring, but believe me when I tell you it's not. Instead of the hearts of men, it really should be called the minds of men, because I found it to be a tremendous insight into male friendship. Um, I adored it. The writing's great. Again, it's like this great cover, right? So hearts of men is coming out in March of 2017. I do like a cover. <laughs> it's a great cover. This is not the final cover for this book. The Scribes of Siena by Melody Winnower is for you fans of Diana Galbagon's um, time travel series, um, which makes it sound sort of simplistic, but it's not. Um, it's the story of a neurosurgeon named Beatrice who has intense empathy for her, patron, her patients. And what happens from there is that this intense um, empathy gets her into a time warp and she travels back to Siena um, of the Renaissance. The problem with this is that it's a Siena that's about to be hit by the bubonic plague. Um, Melody does an amazing job of putting you deep in the heart of what it must have been like to live during those times. Her research was amazing. Um, she's a brilliant, brilliant woman. I had the opportunity to have lunch with her um, just two weeks ago in New York, and I'm really excited for you all to read this book. To say that it's a book on time travel makes it sound oversimplified. It's not. Um, Melody owns has three degrees. She's a really smart woman, and I can't wait to hear more from her. She is working on other things. So Scribe of Siena would be a great one for book groups that like a lot of history. And my final book for you all for the upcoming year is Eleanor Lippmann, who is just 
absolutely one of my favorite authors. She doesn't write, she doesn't pull them out every single year, but boy, when she does, they are worth waiting for. On Turpentine Lane tells the story of a young 32-year-old woman who moves back to her hometown, and she's writing alumni thank you letters to, for gift donors for her prep school. And she buys this house on Turpentine Lane, and they find something in the attic that is so unbelievably creepy, and they decide to unravel the mysteries of her house. There are hideous boss, there are crazy parents, there's a brother with a heart of gold, there's the office mate that makes working worth coming in every morning worthwhile. She's been called the Jane Austen of our time and I really believe that that's true. Um, this is a wonderful, delightful comedy of manners. It's coming out in February, so right on Valentine's Day as a matter of fact. So if you want to do um, a little love letter to your book group, I would totally pick this one for your February read. And that's what we've got so far for next year. They sound fascinating. Remember, if your group is interested in any one of these books, give us a, an email note at bookgroups at darianlibrary.org and we'll put you on the list for it. Thank you, everybody. Hope to see you again next month. Bye.